It's not even a question, really. Good evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. If you're watching the replay, say hi. 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 We know there's a ton of people that are on different time zones or they're on YouTube. So there's somewhere you can subscribe. You can know when we go and do our craziness live or on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, um, Josh is trying to figure out how to amp up Isaiah's little power wheel thingy. Uh, I've seen it. The, the <laughs> solar panel with the lithium ion battery and the brushless motor. You just leave that thing for redding. It's perfect. You leave it park out. You don't have to unplug it and plug in the, the little less acid battery. It's got fast charging times and, you know, a lot more hours worth of play. So, and then when they're done, you just make sure you teach them to leave it parked out in the sun and they'll be ready to go tomorrow. So... I just see something malfunctioning, and all of a sudden I look out in the backyard, and Isaiah's like, pew, 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 on his little power wheel. It's like one of those little ones that's meant for, like, the little, little guys, like two to four, although I think he's almost outgrowing it. He's, like, three and a half. But I see Josh, like, trying to, like, amp it up, right? You know that video that's going around where there's, like, the baby and the bumpo that's getting, like, you know, that's the kind of things that Josh will do. Which we totally need to do for <laughs> yeah. the next one. We just need to get more helmets around here. <laughs> Tori loves wearing his helmet. He wears it around the house. Josh might be kicked off the safety crew. <laughs> I'm on the safety crew? <laughs> no, you're not oh. on the safety crew. I was like, that's crew. a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen video of what you used to do when you were younger. <laughs> there may Your poor or mother. may not be video evidence of <laughs> Razor scooters down really steep hills like 40 miles an hour. So, I have a confession. I actually didn't look like this like five minutes ago. I looked like total pregnancy roadkill, and I was laying on the bed, and Josh is like... Did you just go get savvy? <laughs> I did. I put on my savvy minerals. Today was a rough day. <laughs> Today you, was the day I wanted to quit. <laughs> guys, you know, like, the day when you're at work, and you get the text Needed message, the and then the joy. next one, and then the next one, and you're beginning to realize that... <laughs> At the end of the year day, you're probably going to go home and either she's going to have eaten the young or they will be duct taped to the <laughs> ceiling <laughs> because of all the nonsense. I Sawyer doesn't do being under the weather, even if it's just a little bit, very well. He gets super whiny. He wants to be held. He wants to climb on me. And I'm like super pregnant and I'm not feeling super well because I picked up what they had a little bit, which is such bad timing. I, I think I challenged... <laughs> The sickness gods, because I was like, I never get sick, because I really she did. don't. She was like, she was like, I'm not gonna get this. I'm not gonna get sick. Yeah, so now, sick baby, right on me, and I forget to put on my oils, and it's gonna be fun. Oh my goodness! Does anyone else don't feel like forget your oils? Your day goes according to your hair sometimes, or your makeup, I or how not. you dress. <laughs> not for guys. I feel like this is a girl thing. Because like, otherwise it's just a downhill trend. <laughs> if you like are feeling frumpy or you didn't put your face on if that's important to you or if your hair's looking nuts, like I fixed it a little bit, but I had some serious, crazy, like just that sick hair going on where you're just like, you know what I'm talking about, where it looks like you oh, just yes. rolled out of bed yep. and you were like... Pfft. The matted... Yeah. <laughs> Frizz that refuses to be tamed with just a little bit of water that you're like, man, I actually should shower, but that sounds like work. So you almost can't snap out of it because it's like you dressed for your bad day. Does that make sense? <laughs> I love You've that book. Dress for success. I dress to be miserable today. <laughs> One of my most favorite books as a kid growing up, because I think I was a little bit like a cranky kid in the morning and just cr I had cranky days um is Not that you, no never. good no. very bad terrible I'm probably saying I'm 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 totally butchering the the title. title terrible bad day right where he like gets gum in his hair and then he doesn't get the thing shoes after, that he wants and thing. then it's just one thing after the next that's how I felt like my day went I even at like dinner I didn't put all my ingredients in my pan my childhood book <laughs> is that I relate to is if you give a mouse a cookie and I'm the mouse. So one thing, <laughs> what did you, I didn't even hear what he said. I said that Repeat. I feel like my childhood book, cause you're talking about childhood books. And I oh like yeah. Mine is if you give a mouse a cookie and I'm the mouse. You are the mouse. I am. You're the moose, the mouse, the pig. How many of those books are there? I feel like there's also, Three, I thought. 
If you give a housewife an oil. Oh, there it is. She'll or, probably start producing babies. <laughs> if you give a housewife or any woman, if you give a woman a premium Please starter not. kit, because, you know, you get all the oils and then you're going to want the next oils. So I just thought I would really quickly share about Joy. Joy. When I first smelled this oil, I thought it smelled like pee. <laughs> no joke. I was very repelled by it. But here's the thing. Our bodies are really amazing chemically and frequency wise. This is a very high frequency oil. And I had just had a baby, I had a toddler, they were super unwell, and I was like hormonally all over the place. So I think my frequencies and my like moods were very, very low. So this was like this conflict, right? So when I first smelled it, I was like, oh, oh no, that is not joy. Um, but I started using it and because it's high frequency and it has all these good emotionally supporting oils, um, it's just really awesome. It's one of those things you should just, just try. So that does, is my oil for the evening. Does that mean that to unwell hormonal women, you smell like urine? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Because she does. She uses it as, I love the smell of it. I love the so, smell of it now. I love it. It's she like, uses it as like a perfume. That's and... what's so crazy. It smells completely <laughs> different to me now. It used to be more strong florally, but now it's not so much, but I do mix it with other oils. Um, but I love, what I love is that there's a whole like mental side to thing. If you're, you know, I don't know what your spiritual beliefs are, but there's prayer or meditation, higher powers, whatever. But then I love that oils give us the practical and work naturally with our bodies to help us in tons of different ways. So this is one of my most favorite oils outside of the kit. In fact, I put it on every day, except I didn't put it on today until just recently. So I didn't choose my that, joy. Yeah, you didn't choose your joy. I did not choose joy. I did chose you rub misery. On the misery. I did. I wrote uh, there and is And the misery oil is no oil. <laughs> there is no misery yep. oil. I there just isn't. I it's mentally not oily. chose it. Yeah. Ask my mama. She came over to watch the kids today and she got a little bit of the crankiness. <laughs> Sorry, mama. Um, anyways, um, and today is also Wait, joke joke of the day. Joke, joke of the day. Okay. What's your <laughs> What's joke? the difference between in-laws and outlaws? Outlaws are wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. I actually really like our in-laws. Yes. Same <laughs> we both here. Do. Yep. It's just, yep. that's funny. I don't know. You just don't take that one personally, guys. We swear. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. JK. JK. <laughs> okay. So baby countdown. We are. We are almost there. Nine, Wait. eight days out. September 5th. And now that I'm not feeling super 100%, I'm like, baby, don't even think about coming early. You just stay in there for right now. <laughs> Mama is not in the mood to do anything called labor and delivery. We have you scheduled. You stay in your schedule, little baby. I'm just going to start hitting the ninja packets harder. Um, and then, Matthew, this is the Crucible Eve. So all yes. of my... 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. It happens. Technically, it feels like tonight because it does. It's kind of like it's tonight, 2 but it'll be the twenty eighth morning. Yes, on Tuesday, two a.m. two a.m. California time. Early. Wake up, beautiful. It's time to suffer. I'm already up at two a.m. suffering being pregnant, so I'll be solidarity. Like, solidarity. I'll be like, Matthew, You'll be like, yeah, I'm right with there. you. Don't put the, there. Yeah, solidarity. <laughs> so my fellow M O M's, mothers of Marines. It, <laughs> the one thing I never realized, I did not realize, when you have a child who goes into the military, you just enlisted too. Yep. In a different way, in a totally different way. But you just enlisted too. Your life is now not your own. Your child is not your own. This is not dropping your child off at college, people. I'm sorry for those of you who are grieving the empty nest and who dropped kids off at college. But this is different. I was not prepared for this. This was like a little bit of ripping off a lot of duct tape on a very hairy arm. <laughs> like kind of yeah. that's how it felt. It's like, oh, my <laughs> child you know, off at college might be getting ready for midterms. Ours got tear gas today. I mean. <laughs> yes, ours went in a gas chamber with tear gas. Woo. No joke. Practicing how to use his mask. And you just, learn to use it right when it's, you know, yeah. counts. And you get contact with your college student. We have not spoken to Matt except for one time on the phone. And then we write letters back and forth. So there's a very delayed communication. There's so many things we don't even know yet. Um, so many uh, questions we have not had answered. We don't know. Um... But yeah, at 2 a.m., um, he will be beginning the crucible. And he also climbs this mountain called the Reaper. 
They have another little endearing term for it. <laughs> <laughs> Mother flocker mountain. mountain. Yep. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason why they have that very endearing term for it. Um, apparently we get to drive by this mountain and see it, the Reaper, yep. Yep. when we go for graduation. Our whole family is flying into San Diego. We feel incredibly blessed to get to go attend uh, his graduation. So at 2 a.m., I want all my friends to be sending out positive thoughts to all of our Marines, our entire group yeah. that will be going up this mountain. All I don't the, know if all I... All the platoons that are going to be graduating. Yeah. I don't know if I should mention the exact information, but anyways, just in case, I'm not going to. But mm -hmm. their company will be going in on this three-day thing. 48 miles, 45 pounds in their packs that they they hike with the entire time. So 45 miles of hiking. Yeah. And this is like marching. This is not like, oh, look it's at nature. Like, oh, look at the squirrel. Stop and play oh, with, yeah, it's a little tree. woodland creatures, you know. In your, you know. Oh, your, Brooke, let's go play in that. In no, your REI no. gear, in your, you know, your comfies. This is, we got places to go, things to do. Load your pack, march. This is full gear with your rifle, with your combat boots, with your 45 pounds of gear. Uh, 36 warrior stations that they pause and complete as they go through. Yep. Uh, 29 team building activities. So they're exerting themselves in all these other ways, like mentally, physically, just a, a crazy six to out, six to eight hours of sleep over the three days. Yeah. So I think they get like two to three a night. Crazy. As you can. Yep. So their day starts at like two, three a.m. and then they go until like it's eleven. Less of sleeping and more pass out of exhaustion for <laughs> a couple hours and then get up and do some more. By a tree. I don't yeah. even think they get tents yeah. or yeah. they're like sleeping on the ground. <laughs> um, they get two MREs, yeah. maybe more if their drill instructor <laughs> likes drill instructors them. Really love them like, <laughs> and a couple this protein looking bars. looking a little calorie deficient. <laughs> some fruit. So it's very limited food. It's really trying to give them like that real life experience. And as a mom, I'm like, oh, my poor baby. <laughs> my poor baby's out in the woods starving and not sleeping. <laughs> Anyways, so 2 a.m. starts... And then they end on the 30th at like 10 a.m. Yep. And they Followed, get, After they do the, the hill, that's where they, you know, they'll hear for the first time, like from their drill instructors, like, you know, good job. Uh, there's a little ceremony where they get handed the, the Marines. The signal. shield it's and the, the... The anchor and, and... Jennifer, help me out. What's the other thing that they it's get? It's an anchor and... I thought it was the anchor and globe. Is it Yeah, shield? something... Sure I'm probably. An globe. I'm not the best uh, marine yeah. mom yet. <laughs> anyway, they get the handed that, and that is when they actually become marines. Like you know, before that, they are recruits. So yeah, um, and then they sing the marine hymn. I'm sure they are all crying like kumbaya, like oh my gosh, we made it. We did. And then die. they prepare them a warrior eagle breakfast. globe and anchor. Eagle globe and anchor. I knew Thank that you. There is an anchor and a globe as missing an eagle. And it's the first time their drill instructors actually talk to them instead of just yell at them. Could you yeah. imagine 13 weeks of just being yelled at and just giving instructions and that's it? Move. No, good job. Oh my gosh, you did it. Like this is the first time they congratulate. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> And, and then they like, have to march back down after being totally mentally drained. Um, and then they get the warrior breakfast. Which is all this really great food that if they pile in will probably not stay down. <laughs> but tastes like victory, I've heard. So. so they get to eat anything they want. It's like yeah. steak, eggs pancakes whatever your heart's desire is and they can eat whatever they want so i think 90 percent of them whatever probably all of them get really really yeah. sick but how fun is that and then they get to have a warm shower and sleep for 12 hours and know that they did it yeah. and then after that they're preparing for graduation and it's like a totally different ball game yeah. and so as parents it's just a little nerve-wracking because we don't know like how the whole thing went we won't get hear from them or get mail from them like we won't until graduation that's when we'll get to get the play by play and the whole story so it's just a lot of prayer and just you know be yep. with them and with his platoon and you know trusting that like they've got good guys next to him gonna help him get through it so. i bet matt wishes he had his <laughs> pan away <laughs> Sure, it's in their standard issue pack. <laughs> I'm sure they all have their little oily bag, and their drill instructors are getting out their oils each night. I'm sure their cool azul pain cream. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't I tried to send oils happening. with Matt, and he looked at me like, 
Mom, not only are they going to confiscate everything I try to bring with me, but really, <laughs> it's not happening. I'm not bre breaking out oils in the middle of Marine boot camp. I'm like, you don't know. Your drill instructors could secretly be oily dudes because of their wives. And it's why they can, like, case, yell at you as much as they do. they still confiscate the oils, <laughs> but then take it home and add it to their collection. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like when that certain teacher, like, you know, finds your drug stash and takes it away. Not that that ever happened to me, but you know what I mean? In the movies. I don't know. Okay, we just totally went a really wow. weird place. Wow, yeah. <laughs> it's Are you pregnancy. channeling Ferris Bueller's Day Off? You don't know what I'm talking about. It happens in the movies. I'm getting all red. <laughs> uh, anyways, I know. I need a contract with the MCRD, the Marines. An yeah. oily contract. An oily contract. <laughs> a government contract. <laughs> I'll oil all of them. And uh, thieves, so they don't pass around the you know, <laughs> sickness in the platoons. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Anyways. So that's what's on our thoughts and our hearts today. Yep. I'm choosing joy, even though it's like eight something at night, and I put on my makeup. I'll end the day pretty, <laughs> less <laughs> frumpy. Pretty. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> um, and we are, yeah. That's that's our day. Yeah, that is. Yep. So this baby's still in there. Yeah. We'll see. September fifth. We'll see if she makes it. I've been having like weird contractions all day. We'll see if they're what? just those false ones, you know, indigestion, that big burrito way, <laughs> or if it's an actual baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. That's not a burrito. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> That's a baby. <laughs> By the sixth one, you know, you'd think it'd just fall out. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, oh, hey, oh the, baby. Hey, hey, there you are. <laughs> Anyways, have a great evening, guys. Yep. We'll chat again soon. Yep.